Hey everyone, Doug from Convology here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to drip out Thrive Apprentice courses on a set schedule. So first, let's talk about what it means to drip something out. Uh, there are really two definitions for what I'm gonna show you here. So the first definition is going to be if you were to have, let's say, three modules on your course. Module A, Module B, and Module C. Now, if you wanted people to get access to Module A on day one, they would sign up for your course, get immediate access, and then let's say you wanted them to get access to Module B, maybe, uh, say, two days later. And then they wanted to get access to Module C, or they were given access to Module C, maybe two more days later. So here, we have immediate access from the time they come through our funnel to module A. Now, the way that we accomplish this, I'll get into in just a second, but it's to set a delay between accesses on the courses. Now, Thrive Apprentice does not do this by default. The other way to do drip on courses is if we had the same three modules, and instead of a time delay between them, we can give an exact date that the student or the user or the member gets access to the modules. So for module A, let's say the user signs up and they get access to this one on July 1. And on module B, they get access to this one, let's just say the next day, on July 2. And on module C, they get access on July 3. This is the two ways in which we can drip out courses using Thrive Apprentice and a tool I'm going to show you called Wishlist Member. So let's jump in and take a look at my example demo site to show you how this is done. So here we have my Thrive Apprentice course, and I've broken that course up into the three modules, like our example, and each of these modules has a lesson inside of it. The first thing you want to do is to install Wishlist Member, and I've done that. And if you have any questions about Wishlist Member, I have some tutorials, or you can ask me if you need any help. But the first thing that we want to do is go to Content Protection, and we want to find through here, the Thrive Apprentice modules. Why? Well, because we're protecting modules. There's a setting called protection that you can enable. You just simply toggle it on. Once you've done that, you'll see the modules for your courses. Here are mine, module, module one, module two. Next thing we need to do is go to content control. So content protection means we're going to allow our modules to be protected. Content control means we're going to define how they are controlled, how they are protected. So the same concept here. In this interior navigation, we're going to find Thrive Apprentice modules. Now, real quick, let's say your course didn't have modules. Let's say your course has chapters or only lessons. The same principles that I'm teaching here will apply to you. You'll just simply find chapters or lessons rather than modules. So for my example, we're protecting modules. Let's go ahead and go in here. And the first thing that you wanna do is decide, okay, which of these uh, jumping back here, which of these examples am I going with? Am I going with our example number one here, where they're going to get access to module A on day one, module B two days later, and module C two days after that, or are we going with our date accesses? Well, I'm going to show you how to do both, but for this example, let's start with number one, where we give access on day one, then it drips out after that. So here we go, we want to define our access. So with module one, thinking back to this example, they get access right away. So we want to protect this, but we want to protect it without giving a delay. A couple ways we can do that, you can go right into Thrive Apprentice and say that I only want to allow people that are part of my, my membership level to have access to that. We can also do that in here by coming in, choosing the module that we want to protect and saying, uh, so module one, for example, and say, let's set a drip content schedule for membership level A show after zero days and set content schedule. Now it's going to come up and say, hey, you have to choose to protect this course first. That's okay. Just hit yes and it will load up. So people will get access to our first module right after they sign up. Now module two, let's do the same thing. Let's set an action and set content drip schedule for membership level A or whatever your membership is. And let's show this one after two days and then hit yes, I want to protect it. Now our last option here, I forgot to name mine module three, even more stuff. We're gonna go through the same process. 
we want people to get access to this one. Do you remember on our example here? This first one here was after two days. We want this one to be two more days. So what's the total from day one? We have two days and two more days, so that's four days. So we just want to set this one to say, let's give people access to this course four days after they sign up. Make sure that the right membership, hit yes, and it will protect it. So now people will get access to our first module on day one, second module two days later, and the third module four days later. Now let's take a look at how we can do the other version of this, which is to give access to our courses or our modules on specific dates. To do that, we're going to go into the membership level that we set up. So let's say membership level A was the membership level that I wanted to give people access to on a specific date. We're going to go into the action section of the membership level and we're going to take a look at what's called adding an action and selecting a trigger. So wishlist member allows you to take actions on a membership level when these three things happen. They're added to the level, removed from the level, or canceled from the level. We're going to play with the added to this level. So for this example, when somebody is added to this membership level for the first time, we want to move them to another membership level. So let's take one step back here and let's map out how this is going to look. So if I jump back to my example here, we have July 1, they get access to module A. July 2, access in July 3. Now, what we need to do is set up a separate membership level for each of these modules and then move our members from one module or one membership level to the next as we want to give them access to those. So we need to take one step back. We need to go back to setup and we need to create some more membership levels. And this is how you can drip out these courses on a specific date. Okay, we have membership level A. Now we also have membership level A launch day, right? This would be July 1. And we have membership level A day 2. That is on July 2nd. And we have membership level A day 3, which is our July 3rd date. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to use the actions that I previously showed you in order to move people between these membership levels and give access on specific dates. So let's go ahead and jump into launch day because membership level A is going to be our default. When someone buys access, they are going into this membership level A. It's like a holding membership level. So on launch day, July 1st, let's create an action. Actually, let's go back. I messed that up already. We're going to go back to the membership level A. There we go and an action. So let's do a trigger. When they're added, when they've purchased the course or they've purchased the membership level and they're in membership level A, we want to move them to a level, which is our launch day event, right? Which is July 1st on, choose a date. Let's choose July 1. That's what was in our example. And we're going to choose not to send them email notifications. You can set them up all you want. You can actually have this say, hey, it's July 1, you now have access. Hey, it's July 2, module 2 is available. Hey, it's July 3, module 3 is available. But we're not going to do that. You can do that with ConvertKit if you want to. You can do that with SendFox. But we're just going to turn them off. So let's add that action. Great. So let's take a look at it. Membership level A. They've purchased. They're in. When they're added to this level, move them to launch day on July 1st. OK, let's repeat that process. Let's go back to levels. Launch day. It's now July 1. Let's add an action. When they get added to this level on launch day, we want to move them to day 2 on a specific day here. You guessed it, July 2. And we can choose times, by the way. I've been, I haven't been changing that. But you could set this to 8 a.m., 9 a.m., whenever you want. Hit apply. And let's not send emails. So when they're added to this level, move to level three on July, what did I say, July 3rd, there we go, apply. So there we go. Now you could call membership level day three, you could call this full access. That's actually what I do. I like to say, hey, on the final day, they have access to the entire course. But now let's take a look at how we give people access to our Thrive Apprentice courses. We've already, we've already moved them to the right membership levels, but now we need to assign those membership levels to a course. So let's go back into content protection and let's go to our Thrive Apprentice modules. 
Now here's our modules. They're currently, based on what we previously set up, all protected by membership level A. We need to change that, right? Because we want our people in module one. So let's click into this. We want people who can access module one not to be in membership level A, because that's, that's the membership they're in when they purchase the course. We want this to be for people who are on launch day. Hit add level and close. Great, module one is available on launch day. Module two now, if you remember, that's available on day two. And we're gonna remove, sometimes you have to close it out. It can be a little finicky. We're gonna remove this old one. There we go, close. And then module three, the one that I didn't name properly, we're going to remove module level A, and we're going to say, hey, on day three, we're gonna add them here. Now, I wanna point something out. If someone is in the membership level day three, we don't want them to just have access to our third module. We want them to have access to all of our previous modules, right? So let's go back in, let's go back to module two and say, hey, if someone's in module day three, they should be able to see this as well. So let's add that, but not day one, because this is day two. And on module one, well, someone on day two should be able to see it, and someone on day three should be able to see it as well, right? That way we have given day two and day three access to module one. So essentially, if we go back to this example here, the people who have progressed from our modules, so let's go ahead and grab my little laser pointer here. And this example, people who are on July two, right? On July two, I have access to both module B and module A here. And on this example, on July 3rd, I would have access to the previous ones. But if it's July 1st, I won't have access to B or to C. I hope that made some sense. So this is one of the more, I guess, robust ways in which you can use Wishlist Member to drip or to sequentially launch modules or lessons or chapters of your Thrive Apprentice course to your students or your members. If you have any questions about this implementation, I know it was kind of confusing there, especially when I messed up the names of the courses, but essentially, that's how you can go about doing this. That's how you can, instead of just launching your entire course to somebody that purchases, have a little bit more control. And these features are available because of Wishlist member and are not currently available by default in Thrive Apprentice. All right, again, this was Doug with Convology. Feel free to leave a comment or a question, and I'll be happy to help you out.